Hello everybody, welcome back to Paper Mario for the Nintendo 64. Maybe the fun alley? I'm the only Python for this, it's a slice of gaming. Oh Mario, thank you! We've defeated Bowser in the last part. You did it! You brought back our precious Star Rod! I thank you from the bottom of my heart. We will use it to bring people back to this world. Or er, to bring peace! Whoa! Whoops! Read that totally wrong. Sorry, we can't revive the dead. Now we'll be able to grant everyone's wishes again. All this is thanks to you, Mario. When you look at the night sky, you'll know that the glittering stars are praising for your courage. Look up at the bright light and remember our thanks. You really took it. Took it to Bowser, Mario. Really soft to him. What impressive strength, brah. I knew you could do it. Mario, don't think we don't know how hard you worked for all of this. For all of us. It must have been difficult. We won't forget your efforts. I hope Bowser learned something from all of this. Maybe he'll behave himself now. Although I'd say the chances of that are pretty slim. Oh well. No words can express completely how thankful we are that for all that you've done. Hope has returned both to Star Haven and to the Mushroom Kingdom. We are in your debt, Mario. And Twink, may I say, you really rose to the occasion. You've proven yourself to be a grown-up star. Hee <laughs> ah, go on. Well, I think it's time we return to Star Haven. All the stars are waiting for us there, no doubt. It's time to say goodbye for now, Mario. May the stars forever shine brightly upon you. Goodbye, everyone that we'll never see ever again. In any Mario game ever. They should bring them back. It'd be nice. Mario, I'd like to thank you, too. And Princess Peach, it was an honor to help you in your time of need. I hope maybe to see you again sometime. For now, I'm going to become a respectable star and make people's wishes come true. Thank you so much for helping me, Twink. You've always been a stellar friend to me. Princess Peach, I... I... Well, no, never mind. I have to go, too. Thank you very much, Mario. I'll always remember you. Princess Peach, goodbye. I loved you. Maybe we can be together one day. It's totally what he was thinking, except maybe not that last part, but totally he loved her. That's usually what happens to these companions in these games. One of them will fall for either Peach and or Mario or both. And so the stars go back to Star Road. A Star Way or Star something. The ground is still flashing. But that is okay. That symbolizes the fact that we are floating gracefully down into the clouds. And then a thunderstorm strikes and everyone dies. That's not what happens, of course not. Everything's gonna end happily. Don't worry. Oh, so that's it, huh? That's how you took the star rod back from Bowser. Seems like another wild adventure in the books, bro. The castle's back to norm in its normal place and everyone returned home safely. You came through in the end, just like you always do. Without me, fuck. I know you've been back for days now, but I bet you still feel like you're kind of on an adventure, don't you? That reminds me, the pals who travel with you, I wonder what they're up to now. Perhaps we'll see right now in this scene. Our little fanboy who never got his second super block will always be playing with his friends. Hey, Paracurry, what's up? I thought you were back at work delivering letters. Haha, <laughs> should I sure am? This isn't a social call. I dropped by to bring a letter to you, Gumbario. It's from Princess Peach. Huh? From Princess Peach? Wow! What's she writing to me for? Read it and find out. I've got to deliver more letters. Thanks, Perry Gary. See ya. Keep working hard, buddy. Take care. Hey, Goombaria. What did Princess Peach write in her letter? Let me see. Hang on, Goombaria. Jeepers. This is an invitation to a party at the castle. It says Princess is having a party and I'm invited to go have fun. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Here's one for Miss Bombette. I see she's made her home back in Koopa Village. 
There's Colorado's wife? <gasps> yes, there's her. She's invited. Good, as she should be. Of course she's gonna go. Come on now. Well, this is where she decided to go, I see. Have fun with these guys. Guess this is where she came from, but I, I don't know. And her taking care of the Yoshi kids. Don't you run around, kids! I swear to God I will kill all of you one day! And with a lady friend. I'm glad he has to go back here and not me. And she's like, man, whatever. I don't even care. Oh, Colorado. With Cooper. Oh, then you became assistants, I see. Now then, gentlemen, it's time to scare the Frosty Heights to the Crystal Palace. Cooper, old boy, you're in charge of guiding us. Your prior experience is terribly important to the success of the expedition. Yeah, leave it to me. I know the place from front to back. Cooper. Huh? Pericary? What brings you here? <sighs> I finally made it. I have a letter for you from Princess Peach. Oh, oh wow! It's an invitation to a huge party in Princess Peach's castle! It's directly from the princess herself. It's got her signature on it and everything cool! Oh, there's no way I can miss a bash this big, but... But I can't just turn my back on this expedition after I promised Professor Colorado. I should stay here and... Oh, Poppycock Balderdash, don't be daft, dear boy. Turning down such an invitation would be terribly impolite. This is a golden opportunity. Go to the party this instant. Don't spare me an another thought. It would ruin the party if the hero of Cooper Village, nay, the hero of the Mushroom Kingdom, wasn't even there. Huh, I knew you'd say that, Professor Colorado. You're so kind and generous. I'll do it. Hope you guys will be alright without me. I'm gonna go party. Oh, Colorado, I have a message for you as well. Don't bother coming back home, you wandering buffoon. What a no-good husband. That was a message from your wife. Colorado, you stood on this expedition without telling your wife again, didn't you? Boy, she was so furious. Oh, good gracious! p p p p Carrie, why in the world didn't you tell me this first? This is a crisis, old boy. I must go back home with all due speed. And so divorce was avoided. They're just like, oh, you want to chill out? I don't know. What do you want to do? Huh? Did you hear something outside? I think I did. I'll do take a quick look. I was just sitting around like, get it, slave boy. Hey, bro, guess what? Paracary stopped by to drop off a party invitation from Princess Peach. He said he also invite he was invited to the party, so he took off and said he'd see us at the castle when we arrived. Now, we better go too. Here we go again! And then the whole thing happens all over again. Castle's just lifted off. Into space directly. Is this automatic, or do I have control of this? Okay, listen, Mario. I'm just gonna run ahead. There's something important that I have to do. What is it? Sorry, bro. It's top secret. So this is what I really like about this, is that you can actually go around and uh, talk to everybody if you want to now, and everyone will say, Oh, thank you, you saved us, blah blah blah, but we'll talk to the important people. Oh, hello, Mario. I've never been to a party at the castle before. I'm petrified. It really is. Oh, dear. I'm so nervous. Do I look okay? I just arrived in Tonehound. What a long walk. I've been taking a little rest. Goomba must be feeling spry. He went ahead with the grandkids already. The kids went ahead with their dear old Goomba. Goombaria is just jumping for joy. Dear, dear. Ha ha ha. Kids are bundles of energy, aren't they? I'm not going to talk to generic toads, but I will definitely talk to you, sir. Kawiz! It's your old pet, Tell Chuck Wizmo. Ha ha ha. I mean, how would you like to take part in the quiz game? Nah, I'm just kidding. Let's just enjoy the party. I'll see you again in Mario Party 8. Heart. She's my favorite because she's super cute. Verlin, you better be outside your house. If not, I will come and maraud it. Aw, oh, he's not here. Maybe he was invited to the party too. So did you avoid your divorce? Greetings, old boy. Here for the festivities at the castle, eh? 
I can't say I'm entirely excited about it myself. My heart yearns to go to the Crystal Palace. Yearns, I say. So many mysteries await me, and my dizziness... Dizzying, dizzying intellect. Oh, the pain of it all. You understand my yearning, don't you, old boy? I swear, Colorado, you are the living ants. You're always darting here and there instead of settling down. Mario, would you believe I had to send Paracary to get him? I'm at the end of my rope. Please toss some sense into him. Nope. Too late for that now. There is no sense. There is no sense. Okay, bye. Mario, where are you going? I'm sure the princess is waiting for you. Don't you go outside of town. I suppose I should talk to this idiot. I can't enter the door. On behalf of the flower field, I came to say thank you. This is all thanks to you, Mario. Thank you, Mario. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Who are you? Tra la la, me me me. Oh, I'm so very nervous. What if I don't sing well for the princess? I think you were at the club, but I don't remember. I'm making a bouquet for Princess Peach. It seems as though extra beautiful flowers have bloomed just for the splendid day. I wonder how your stalker is doing over there. Did you finally get the guts to say I love you? Creepo? I've been watching Minty's flower garden, you know. Every day it gets more happy and beautiful. And now that the castle's back, Minty looks happy as well. Just looking at Minty makes me so happy. Yep, still a stalker, I see. Do -do two guys from the desert. You two. Hey, bud, long time to see. I made some serious dough selling badges, so I'm gonna clear out and head for a different town. I'm kind of itching to get on the road right now, but the festival's a big deal. And my kid really wants to check it out, so I guess we'll stay a little while longer. It's a festival, yeah, a festival with fun. How you doing, sir? Who's that? Is that Mario? Why, it's me, Koopa Koot. By the way, where's the castle? I haven't been there for a while, and I'm having and I'm having the darndest time ever finding the front door. You'll get there eventually, don't worry about it. You'll be fine. Can I go past... Oh, no. Everyone important is going to be at the castle, so we might as well go there. We will do it with our s sweet speed running strats. Let's see, who's important here? You're important, that much I know. Oh, it's Mario. I thank you again for everything you did for our village. Hmm? You wonder how I got here? I befriended a strange whale and ferried me over here. Next time, I'd like to bring the whole village with me. If it isn't the nice guy, you made it after all, yes? I, Mustafa, knew all along that you would defeat the evil Bowser. Yes, I did. But you know what? You're an even greater hero than I imagined. Thank you. You've always been super nice and wise. It looks like today's party will be even better than the last one. Lots of singing, dancing instead of an earthquake. Oh, Mario, how are you? Still dangerous? <laughs> Anyways, about you being a murderer. <laughs> uh, I still haven't forgiven you, by the way. I came here so I could see Lady Bo dressed up in her finery. I know Princess Beach is beautiful, but Lady Bo is even prettier. Are you Stanley? After this splendid party, we're going to have a wedding center ceremony at Gusty Gulch. It's going to be the most beautiful wedding ever. We'll scare everybody. Aw, who's getting married? Who's who's getting married? Who? Who? Alright, let's go inside and see who's there. we got to talk to all of our party members, that's for sure. Got to find them in the crowd. Mario, welcome to the castle. Princess Peach should be here very shortly. And now, Princess Peach. Greetings to all of you. I'm so glad everyone could be here on this special day. The Star Rod was stolen by Bowser has been returned to its rightful place in the Star Haven. Peace has once again returned to the Mushroom Kingdom. Above us, the stars shine with more beauty and power than ever before. It seems they're sending us our thanks. Mario, Mario, Cooper, Bombette, Paracary, Bo, Watt, Sushi, Lucky Lester, not the Kylester, and everybody across the lands in the Mushroom Kingdom, we regained peace because of all your efforts. Thank you very much indeed. I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. I hope that the Mushroom Kingdom will enjoy peace and prosperity for a long time to come, perhaps forever, until the sequel. 
This is my heartfelt wish. It's not gonna come true. So, let's celebrate. Enjoy the festivities, everyone. And then she summons Titan, and then the whole castle is just destroyed. It's too bad you don't get to talk to your party members, because it'd be kind of nice to see what they're doing. But here is the end credit scene, and this is the top secret thing that Luigi wanted to do. It's the parade! Celebratory parade. So now we get to see everyone participate in the parade. This is kind of nice. I like the little credit scene here. It's cool. It's cute. So that is uh, Paper Mario, basically. Overall, there's I think there's one little scene left, and that's about it. There's our good friend, Lackey Lester. No, the Costa. There's all of our party members. Mario, Watt, Sushi, Bombette, Cooper being as hyperactive as he is. Perry Carrot tossing out the confetti and Lady Bo. And I think those are the three Toad Girls, I'm pretty sure. I forget their name, but they're the ones that uh, traveled around and stuff. There's Kawizmo. Chuck Quiz and Van Van Vanity, I think her name was. I forget. And they just kind of slide along. All the Koopa Brothers joined in. Nice to see them. I actually kind of like their uh, boss battle the most with the the fake Bowser, just because I kind of thought it was funny. I get to see it, and it's like, oh my god, what an amazing thing! And then it just turns out to be that. And somehow the uh, whale is able to participate with Colorado and his wife. Don't ask how. Pools of water can slide, don't worry about it. Yeah, this game's great. It uh, holds up even today. It's cute. A thousand Year Door is that much better than the rest of the Paper Mario series. Pay Super Paper Mario is good. Um, It has a really good story, but... Oh, Sticker Star. Oh boy, that is a game. That is an awful, awful game. I ended up trading that in. And I think it was for Tales of Abyss I traded it for? Much better trade, that's for sure. Oh, it's the Vaulter we didn't need to kill. Well, yeah, I always enjoyed this game. I enjoy playing through it. It's neat that, uh, you know, even I still learn things about this game today. This is like, pff, like, the third or fourth time I played through this? It's always a fun experience, though. I also kind of like that the music is uh, a combination of all the themes of the places we've been to as well. Blubba has a float? Is the body alive? Or is it like a zombie? Nobody knows. But no, I've always really liked the credit scene when they kind of combine all the themes together and stuff. Oh, I remember you! First boss ever! The Goomba King. It's nice to see him again, though. Even though it was like forever ago. I thought this Wapter would have 50 parts, but it's just, you know, 49. So close, close but no cigar. Get to see the Ravens and Yoshis. Still need to get back to that Wapter too, Yoshi's Island eventually. But after this, I'm planning to try to, to finish up Frog Bell. For sure. Because I'm having a lot of fun with that game. So I'll finish that one up next. Nice to see the uh, Lava Piranha there too. Doing his thing. I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, walkthrough. I had some fun with it, despite the fact that it kind of broke into pieces at one point because the um, video file got, uh, you know, corrupted and all that stuff, but at least we were able to recover what I could of it. So I'm happy that it wasn't, like, completely rest in pieces, so I'm glad. Nice, the Yoshis took care of the clouds. As they do. Gourmet guy's very upset about this. He's like, I wanted to eat the cloud too. Thank you, Nate, for making an enjoyable translation. Crystal King, what's up? I have to say, like, as much as I remember my nostalgia being good about the Crystal King, it kind of turned out to be an awful boss battle. Him and Huff and Puff kind of turned out to be, like, my least favorite just because of how, like, rinse and repeat it was. You know, Pear Carry does his thing, we heal, so on and so forth. I wonder if the, um, Crystal Kings were just duplicos. Hmm. Something to think about. What are you doing, kid? Oh, he found somebody to play with. Finally. Good. Maybe she'll teach him magic. Or how to be better. 
but yeah, I, I enjoyed myself. I'm glad that I was able to get the, the video back. Bowser looking very disappointed. And disgruntled. He's at least part of the parade. Yeah, even more pissed off. It's always a good idea. I plan to do the sequel, Thousand Year Door, eventually. Like, not right away. I'll probably do a couple more games in between there, though. For sure. And the last people to attend are the Star Spirits. I thought they wouldn't be able to come because they're Star Spirits, but nope. And of course, we have to have our hero Mario in the float too, right? Aw, oh, Penguin's ice skating. And there's the mayor. This is kind of a neat looking float up here. It's cool to see different uh, toad sprites that we haven't seen throughout the game. Yeah, I know she's in Club 64. We never actually went in that place to hear her like sing or perform or anything. I forget if that's actually like a thing in this game. I know it becomes a little bit more relevant in the Thousand Year Door. You, I've never killed one of you in this water. I'm kind of upset about that. And we have the family of Merles too. Or Merleys, if you will. Oh, that's a tree from Flower Fields! I didn't recognize it for the longest time. I'm like, what is that? It's so small. Why did you guys have to participate in the float? I don't want you here. Please don't let the other flower idiots be here too, because I hate all of them. Oh yes, General Guy's here. General Guy's here with the most exciting of floats. Look at this thing. They decided to chaz up their toy box completely. Yes. And it's a disco inside. The best. Of course they'd have the best float. That was a really fun boss battle. Probably one of my favorites too. I hope Train Guy is here so I can yell at him more. What could be left? So I think they kind of covered everything, because after that was um the lab place. And then it was Flower Fields. And then it was Shiver City, which we've already seen. So I think it has to be Mario and Peach that's left? Unless there's other characters. But I can't think of who they would be. Oh yeah, there they are. The very end. In the boat. In the shoe. It looks like a shoe, actually. Pretty jazz and shoe, actually. I'd wear those. They're ditching the parade. Nobody seems to have noticed. Pretty bad when your heroes don't participate in the parade. Ooh, what have we got here? Some stargazing? Alright, well, that's it. That is the end of Paper Mario. I thought there was another scene at the castle, but I guess it's just this. And then we have the theme from the opening. So that's uh, that's Paper Mario, the walkthrough. Hope everybody enjoyed. I had a lot of fun with it. Glad I was able to recover it and continue on with it. I thought it was going to be gone forever. But I'm glad it's not, so that's been wrapped up. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for something new. Thanks.